you may be getting more familiar with this category of tech, AR glasses, or at the very least, they can be considered second screen glasses. They are definitely getting traction. See, case in point, on a recent trip, I was actually using these to get immersed in some work, some play, some anime. And then when I got up to walk around the cabin, I saw somebody else using AR glasses too. Clearly these are coming up as a great way of leveling up entertainment and even productivity on the go. So why are the ones that I'm showing off right now so special? It's because these happen to tick a number of boxes that make them perfect for me to have in my bag for travel or just available for a bit of fun whenever. Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? These are the Rocket Max. Now, first off, shouts out to Rocket for not only hooking me up with an early look at the Rocket Max, but also for sponsoring this video. Rocket are already pretty well known for their AR glasses, including the previous generation Rocket Air, but these are called the Max, and they definitely bring quite a few features that make them a compelling pair to consider. And one more note that I have to mention off the bat, these are AR glasses, but I'm not going to be focusing on the augmented reality features that can be provided by Rocket's smartphone app. There is indeed an app that you can download on select Android smartphones, but I'm going to be focusing on these glasses as a second screen augmentation to entertainment, productivity, and even some gaming. As far as the design goes, the Rocket Max are one of the more minimal pairs that I've worn. Mine come in this gray, blue-ish colorway, and you can change up the nose piece with a couple of replacements that are included. One thing I really enjoy is that the case has a somewhat hidden compartment for safekeeping some of the uh, extra items. For example, the connection cable uh, that will connect the glasses to any of your devices, and then this little docking item that definitely will come in very handy later. Another thing I really enjoy about these glasses is that the temples have a substantial curve on the part that anchors on one's ears, meaning that these glasses actually felt really secure on my face without ever really slipping down whatsoever. But very minimal adjustments were ever needed when wearing the Rocket Max. But for those of you who need a little bit more support, Rocket do have an add-on that helps tether the glasses more securely via a fastener to the back of the head. The temples have these controls that change up the brightness of the display via this button, as well as a volume rocker for the speakers that are situated right above the ears. So in a way, this is a complete audio-visual package, as you get the screen beaming into your eyes, but you also get the speakers blasting audio into your ears with surprisingly good quality. I personally wished that the sound could get a little bit louder, but then again, people around me would then be able to hear episodes of Trash Taste or Spy Family that I was watching on the plane. Besides, having headphones on or earbuds in helps complete that total immersive experience. The included USB-C cable just connects to the back of the left temple, and then the other side just connects to any device that you are trying to project through the glasses. Now, bear in mind that certain smartphones without HDMI out capabilities in their USB-C ports will not work, so make sure that your device is compatible. Once these are plugged into something like a Razer Edge, for example, the glasses simply mirror the screen from the connected device. From there, you can continue using things normally on the phone, only now you have it blown up to a larger size given the Rocket Max's capabilities. And those capabilities include a dual display tech that creates one really pleasing image for the user. Colors are properly rendered, the detail is nice and sharp, and the brightness can get to around 1000 nits, even though personally I tend to watch everything at level 4 instead of the max value of 6 by pressing the brightness button on the right temple. Now while the resolution of that image tops out at 1080p, it is actually capable of 120 hertz refresh rate, which is quite unique. And while the basically private, very personal, and large display is obviously the main story, my favorite feature of the Rocket Max are these knobs above either eye. Oftentimes with techie glasses, I either have to get my prescription installed on them for an extra cost, or I have to end up wearing contacts. However, uh, with these Rocket Max, uh, I can actually adjust the image, and these knobs provide a diopter adjustment between zero and negative six. My particular prescription is around negative two in either eye, so just moving these knobs until everything is in focus makes it so that I can watch everything comfortably without having to do anything extra. Honestly, that's a huge game changer for me. Now, to be fair, my vision through the semi-transparent front end is not corrected, so I still have to put on my actual glasses when I remove the Rocket Max, but at the very least, I don't have to do anything to simply enjoy using the glasses themselves. For maximum immersion, there is a shade that attaches to the front of the glasses so that they block any ambiance and give you just a focused look at your media. In this configuration, the experience of viewing anything is a lot like having your phone literally up to your face, but that's not really a bad thing. I mean, I used to bring tablets on flights and prop them up with all manner of contraptions to the seat back in front of me, but now I just have to connect these glasses and that large screen becomes massively easier to travel with. All I need are the glasses, which don't take up much space in my bags and whatever device I'll connect to them for my downloaded content. 
The effective 215 inch display becomes easier to perceive once you take the shade off though, because you're creating the perception that the screen is being projected on some surface that you can see in front of you. Now, the farther away that surface is, the bigger the screen will seem. Rockets say that uh, six meters away uh, will get you the full size, which is quite a distance. Even now, I'm using the Rocket Max to read my script as it's connected to this smartphone. And if I look over to the side to where the far wall is, it does seem like it is projecting completely onto that particular wall. And honestly, the fact that you have it all right on your face means that anything you're watching or working on is just for you, and at higher quality than, let's say, any seatback television on an airplane, and totally personal for when you're just looking to have some fun or take advantage of a second screen experience. So with all of that said, let me tell you about my favorite combos with the Rocket Max. The most common use case scenario will be with smartphones and devices similar to that. In my case, the Razer Edge without the controller attachment actually became my multimedia hub on recent flights. I downloaded all of Spy Family and some long videos on YouTube and just connected the Rocket Max to the Edge for viewing comfortably on my trips. And now we have the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, which proved it to be a great companion for all of those same reasons, but also because it can use the connected glasses as a projected display for Samsung DeX. This might be a bit of an overachieving scenario, but if you connect it to the Galaxy S23 Ultra or any phone that has Samsung DeX on there, you turn on DeX and then the phone will become the touchpad that you can then use to navigate around the desktop experience. It's at that point that I can take advantage of Samsung DeX to just do multiple things at once. Like for example, have Instagram over on the side and then have YouTube playing in a different window while playing things in the background. All right, how about some productivity? Having a second screen can be a great way of getting some stuff done, but in my case, I actually used the Rocket Max as my main display on the MacBook Pro. Instead of trying to edit a video on the plane by hunching down on the seatback tray, I connected the glasses, mirrored my laptop display, and then I could actually turn off the screen of the MacBook Pro so that everything was coming through the glasses alone. I literally edited an entire video on the plane doing this with the same room to get around DaVinci Resolve effectively. And it was all done more comfortably, privately, and without bothering anyone around me. And of course, the Rocket Max are a great companion for gaming. With the help of an HDMI adapter, you can actually connect these to an Xbox or PS5 consoles, uh, but I've actually had the most fun bringing the large screen experience to my portable consoles. The Steam Deck's USB-C port also supports display output, so it's as simple as plugging them in and then using the controls to play anything. I'm still trying to get through Cyberpunk 2077 finally, but Tiny Tina's Wonderland has also been great to play along the way. And then finally, we have the Nintendo Switch. That's where this little gadget comes into play, which is Rocket's own solution for docking the Switch. It's crazy how the large dock that comes with the Nintendo Switch has been boiled down to something so small. This goes into the port on the handheld, then the glasses connect to this portion of the dock, and then you just have to provide it with a power source, either something plugged in or even a power bank. The switch then moves over to docked mode, which means that you do have to disconnect the Joy-Cons or use a different controller that is wirelessly connected to it. But from there, you could just play any of your Switch games on a big screen that is right on your face and just for you. I'm still trying to get through Shin Megami Tensei 5, but Metroid Prime Remastered also came out. If I'm truly honest though, GoldenEye 007 finally coming to the Switch made me play that the most. Literally all of these experiences were greatly enhanced by having the Rocket Max, which provided a large replacement to a second screen for anything work or play. And honestly, it has solidified them as a great companion to have available whenever I just want to get lost in something. Even here, when taking short breaks from work, I just put them on and use the built-in speakers to enjoy some YouTube videos while lying down on my office couch. And you've already seen how they work well for travel scenarios so that I'm not at the mercy of airline-provided entertainment. Best of all, I didn't need to do anything extra to make sure I could enjoy the Rocket Max thanks to the diopter adjustments up here. I just throw them on, plug in, and enjoy. The Rocket Max are now available for pre-order and are actually on sale during this time before they are fully released. So get all of the details and check them out for yourself using the links in the description below and in the pinned comments. And then why don't you let me know how you would use the Rocket Max for your own work and play. But from there, I'm gonna go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves and each other and Enjoy your tea, everybody.